I'm Alexia Christoffi from the Battlefield 2042 development team. We hope you enjoyed Season 1 Zero Hour. Whether you've been darting across the sky as Sundance, battling it out in tight, close quarters combat within the command center, or getting to grips with the versatility of the BSVM, we've loved hearing about the fun you've had with the new content. And now, Season 2 is almost here. We'll be revealing it later this month, but in today's development update, we want to talk about what we're focusing on over the next few months and beyond for Battlefield 2042. As we did in our last update before Season 1, today we're going to be talking about our four areas of focus. Core gameplay, maps, experiences and modes, and new content. So let's start with core gameplay, and with a big topic, specialists. Earlier this year, we put together a team to analyze the feedback received, and we're now ready to talk about the future for specialists and the class system. The arrival of specialists in Battlefield 2042 has been polarizing. We have heard you. So in season three, we'll be moving specialists into the classic and familiar Battlefield class system. They'll have traits available to all specialists within a given class, with existing open gadgets and throwables split between classes to fit their role. Our initial thinking is this breakdown, but this is just the start of the discussion. We want to hear more from you. Specialists are not being removed from Battlefield 2042, but this evolution connecting them to the class system is one we know many of you have asked for. This is a significant change from us development-wise, which is why we're taking the time to get it right. And so we'll bring it during season three. You also feel our specialists are too pristine and their tones and quips make it difficult to become immersed in the game's world. We've already brought you visual updates and in season two and three, you're going to see more of those along with voice updates, body posture, and facial expression changes for our specialists. Starting with the launch of Season 2, we will be introducing Vault Weapons, a wide collection of portal weaponry that will become available over time in All Out Warfare, unlocked through a new content unlock feature, Assignments. We'll start with two Vault Weapons, Battlefield 3's M16A3 Assault Rifle and the M60E4 LMG. These will be available at the start of Season 2, along with the new weapons we're bringing. Then, more will be added throughout the season and we'll be continuing to add more vault weapons in future seasons for Battlefield 2042 as well. Ahead of Season 1, we talked to you about our intention to evolve our existing maps from launch, based on the problems we've heard you've been having with them. You will have all experienced the updated version of Kaleidoscope that arrived in Season 1, but there's more to come. We're continuing to prioritize the maps that need this overhaul the most for both Conquest and Breakthrough. So in September, as part of Season 2, you'll get to play on the updated version of Renewal that we showed you in our last development update, but also a reworked version of Orbital. Renewal is coming in September, followed by Orbital in October. Let's take a look at how both maps are shaping up. With Renewal, the team have worked to improve the tempo across the map by narrowing the battlefield to focus the lanes of combat and providing significantly refreshed experiences on the flags by adding plenty of cover and destructible assets that help to increase the intensity whether you're on the attack or defend. Moving between the points, you'll have far greater access to cover, with improvements to the terrain helping to provide natural protection, and new emplacements throughout the map to give you plenty of options when moving from cover to cover. Following Renewal's update, we're set to deliver a second refreshed map in Season 2, with Orbital next in line to receive updates. Orbital is one of our oldest 2042 maps, and with plenty of learnings taken from the work we've done across Battlefield since we launched, there's plenty of improvements we can bring to this one. To start, we've tightened up the spawns, shifting the HQs inwards to radar and checkpoint to help make sure that the fighting starts sooner. To offset the removal of those two as capture points, we've added a new capture point on 128 layouts out on the hills giving more to fight over between the crawlerway and refinery. On the refinery side, we've worked to improve cover across the area, changing up the sight lines to improve the infantry experience and adding tighter barriers to slow down vehicles who move to make the attack. Connecting refinery to the rest of the map, the tunnel has had an overhaul, featuring all new cover and brand new ways out and into the battlefield. Cover around D1 and D2 has been increased, helping to keep the intensity high at these two infantry heavy flags, with adjustments to the nearby terrain, helping to make sure that you can attack these flags from more angles than before. But our main focus for the map has been helping to improve cover and combat across the crawlerway, with a lot more cover added and better opportunity to attack both across and up and down between the B and E flags. We are committed to continuing to bring further launch map updates in future seasons too. 
As you saw with Exposure in Season 1, we've been working to ensure that you don't face the same issues with our new maps that you did at launch. And you'll see that with the new map arriving with Season 2. It's perfect for infantry-focused gameplay. With a smaller overall layout, it's gonna be intense. The reveal of Season 2 is just around the corner. We're always looking at ways to enhance, improve, and evolve the Battlefield 2042 experience for our players, and we know new content is a key part of that. When Season 2 arrives, you'll get to battle across the new map we teased earlier, step into the boots of a new specialist, experience new hardware, a new battle pass, more in Portal, and new ways to play. Our teams are continuing to work on Season 3 and beyond, and it's really important to us that we can continue to keep the community playing together in new and exciting ways. Future seasons will have a similar amount of content, so we can focus on the quality of what we're giving you, which we hope you saw in Season 1. We can assure you the Battlefield will continue to evolve and grow. And that's it for our latest development update. On behalf of all the teams continuing to work on Battlefield 2042, thank you for sticking with us. See you on the Battlefield.